there are three awesome survival gear tips that I want to share with you from one of our subscribers, Bug Out Bag. Plus, I got some bonus tips for you as well. Check this out. Hey, what's up, Warriors? It is Jeff Anderson from warriorlife.com. And one of the things I like best about my job is getting pictures of somebody's survival gear, their bug out bag, and asked to review them. And got this one in from our subscriber a while back. And there's some really cool stuff going on here that I think you're gonna find very valuable. So let me point out three things right now. So one, first thing I notice on here is the identical survival gear. Now this is not a two is one and one is none sort of a situation. This is a guy and his wife and they both have identical gear. Now what I find a lot when I'm working with people is that the spouse might not actually be into prepping while maybe the guy is. I've also found the opposite where sometimes the, the wife is into it but the husband isn't. And I understand that that can be a real tragedy for somebody. I used to be in the same situation myself. In fact, I even made a video about how to deal with that and I'll go ahead and share the link with you here. Now, what I like about this though is that you do not want to be the person carrying everybody's gear for your entire family. Everybody's got to pull their weight. In this situation, your spouse has their own gear, you've got your own gear, and those should be actually be in your own vehicles in case you can't get back home. So this person's got it done right. In fact, for me, everybody's got to pull their own weight, even my dog. So they do make bags that dogs can carry their dog food in. They can carry all their stuff there. They can carry my ammunition if I want him to, but I am not carrying his Scooby snacks on the bug out trail. He's gonna have to do it himself, all right? So everybody's gotta pull their own weight. Now the other thing that I like here is this right here. So this is a cosmetic case that has been adapted into organizing some of the smaller gear. Now I did a video on this before about how to micro organize your gear, things that I've learned from being out there on the bug out trail out in the military and doing things like that. And it's really useful to be able to take one of these cosmetic cases, roll it up, put it inside of your bug out bag, and it can put all that little stuff in there that normally just gets kind of finds its way filtered down to the bottom of the bag. It's kind of a pain in the ass to kind of pull all that stuff out. So these things are really helpful there. In fact, I mean, I've found these things to be so useful that I actually designed for our bag a similar thing, but more Molly compatible so that it would hold all of the things that you would normally just find in the bottom of the bag. So this way they can be organized or see-through. You can hang this up if you want to, but these, uh, anything that you can use to micro-organize your gear is gonna work really well. Now the other thing we got here is paracord. So this is something that everybody has paracord inside of their bug out bag. When I was in the military, we always had paracord with us, right? There's tons and tons of uses that you have for it. And a lot of people are using these paracord bracelets or even belts, I've even seen like rifle slings with them. And these things work great for carrying a bunch with you, but when you wanna use it, most people don't wanna cut up their bracelet, their belt, or their rifle sling. So it ends up just getting tangled up everywhere. So one of the things that I've done is this is a six inch pouch that I have for my bug out bag. And I normally carry this on, my, on, my, uh, on the belt portion of my bug out bag. But what you can do is take the 550 cord and I have an old one of these little springy clip things from, uh, from one of my other bags. And there's usually a hole in these tactical pouches. So if you've got one that's got this little hole, it's usually like a drain hole for water. So if it's really pouring out there, this will help to kind of air it out, let water filter out of it. We use waterproof material on our actual, like on the fabric itself, so that it doesn't actually let the water inside. But what you can do is take the 550 cord that you have and feed it through one of these little spring thingies. So you push in the little button and then you just kind of feed the 550 cord through there, all right, like that. And then, so you've got it on the, uh, on the 550 cord. Then you come and you feed it through a little hole in the bottom of one of these tactical pouches. Now, it can be kind of a pain. This is gonna kind of come through a little bit tight, but you just gotta get it through one time, all right? So you get it through like that and the springy clip thingy is gonna keep it from coming through. So you can just tie off a little knot here, 
so that it doesn't feed back into the actual pouch. And from there, you can either take one of these smaller rolls and you can put it inside of here if you want, or you can just kind of stack the 550 cord down inside of there. It'll, it'll stack pretty easily there. You can hold a bunch in there. But if I just have this out like this, and I just have this on my belt or I can have it on my bug out bag. So now, when you want some cord, you just take this thing. You don't even have to use the little spring clip. You just pull it because it'll pull through the spring clip. And you can just pull off what you need, cut it off, put another knot in it, and you're good to go. And it'll just dispense right out of the pack, okay? So that's one little tip that you can use for carrying a bunch of 550 cord with you for lots of different uses. And it's going to make it a lot easier to carry around, right? All right, listen, if you've got a tip, I want to get a picture, a video, a text message, something from you, you can go on over, on over to warriorlifetips.com and submit them there. If you've got a video tip that you want to share with us, we'll go ahead and send you two thank you gifts. Text it in or just do a voicemail for us, and we'll give you one thank you gift. We'll send it out to you in the mail, all right? So that's at warriorlifetips.com. And until our next Warrior Life video, this is Jeff Anderson saying prepare, train, and survive.